So here we are calculating formal charge. Formal charge is going to be, uh, learning to calculate formal charge is going to allow us to, um, to, to assess multiple Lewis structure possibilities to determine which one is the most likely uh, Lewis structure. So here we have uh, the problem that says a student proposes the following Lewis structure for the dinitrogen monoxide molecule. Here it is. Assign a formal charge to each atom in the student's Lewis structure. Well, how do we determine formal charge? Well, the formal charge of an atom is going to be equal to the number of valence electrons that that atom brought or that that atom has minus the number of lone pair electrons minus half of the bonding pair electrons. So this is lone pair and that's bonding pairs, okay? So let's, uh, let's look at the left nitrogen first. Okay, so we'll, we'll color code the left nitrogen blue. Let's look at the left nitrogen. The formal charge is gonna be equal to the number of valence electrons Nitrogen has five minus the total number of assigned electrons. So these right here, this are, these are the assigned electrons. So how many lone pair electrons do we have on this left nitrogen uh, atom? One, two, three, four. You count each one individually. So five minus four minus half of the bonding pairs of electrons. So here we have a multiple bond. This is a double bond, and in this double bond are four electrons being shared between the nitrogen and oxygen. So half of four is two, so minus two. So you may guess here we'll get a negative number. That's okay. Five minus four is one. Minus two is negative one. So the formal charge is negative one there. What about the oxygen atom? Well, we have the valence, uh, number of valence electrons for an oxygen atom, which is six, minus the number of lone pairs of electrons around the oxygen atom, which is zero, minus half of the bonded, pair, uh, bonded pairs of electrons surrounding the oxygen atom. Here we have one, two, three, four, Half of that would be 2, and the same over here. So 2 and 4 minus 4, which is 2. So the formal charge on that oxygen is 2. Let's look at the last one. The right nitrogen atom. And the formal charge is going to be equal to the number of valence electrons, which would be 5, minus... The number of lone pairs, total number, one, two, three, four, that nitrogen atom is assigned. All of those are not involved in, in, um, in any covalent bonding. They're not being shared. So we can claim all of those, four, minus half of the bonding pairs of electrons because these are being shared. So we're, we're going to assign half of them. Two, two is four, so half of that is two, minus two. So again, we end up with a negative. A formal charge, 5 minus 4 is 1, minus 2 is negative 1. Is this Lewis structure the likely, um, of the Lewis structure that is likely correct? No, because these formal charges don't seem to be minimized. Uh, formal charges of, for example, plus or minus 2, highly unlikely for an atom to have that as its formal charge. And we don't have any formal charges of 0 as well. The most likely Lewis structure will be the one that has the minimized formal charges.